Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Rob and today we're going to be looking at a quick tip about a new feature in SOLIDWORKS 2020. So in front of me here is a dog treat and if you recognize it, it's because it was from my hashtag CAD model of the day challenge. So when I was modeling this, one of the new features kind of came to the rescue for me here and I just wanted to share that with you all. So let's take a look at what we have here. I extruded this with a draft angle and then I domed the top surface here to kind of give it a more bloated appearance like it was just baked or something like that. Then it was time to break all the edges so you know I grabbed this edge and I say hey it's time to fill it. And what I can do I can select this one edge and say I want all edges and when it throws it in there I just hit OK. And then I took a look at it, I'm like, well, but it still looks too prismatic, it looks too stiff. So I wanted to change the sides such that they kind of sloped in a little bit. So the way I accomplished this is I rolled back the bar, and then I actually just used a surfacing technique where I went into my surfaces, delete face, I just used regular delete, and deleted those two surfaces, so just leaving the top and bottom here. And then I just got myself a lofted surface where I just went from here to here. Start constraint, set, uh, let's put direction vector, and then say top. And there you go, it kind of slopes in a little bit rather than just kind of a linear interpolation. That looked pretty good, so I accepted it, and then I mirrored it after that. So, yep, top plane. Let me get my mirror, and this is a body, so we will mirror bodies just like that. And to turn this back into a solid, I get the knit surface command. Just like that, I think this one is highlighted, shows four items in the box, create solid. And there we're back to a solid, but um, some of you might know what's gonna come next. I'm gonna roll down and the fillet is angry. And we can actually get a little more info if I right click on it or just click on it and it says some filleted items are no longer in the model. Edit the feature to reselect the items. So what happens here is a very common issue where I applied a fillet, went back in the history, changed the geometry, and now SOLIDWORKS doesn't recognize the geometry. It's actually understandable because with every edge and every face you select for features, um, it's just not, hey, it's just this edge that I picked here. It has a specific name and a parent, and SOLIDWORKS keeps track of all this information just to make sure it's really filleting the correct edge. So when I gave these edges to select, it basically SOLIDWORKS is saying, okay, he selected edge one, which was born from the boss extrude feature and is a neighbor of the dome feature. I don't know if that's the exact bit of information, but it keeps track of what feature created that edge and that is what it uses to make sure it's really filleting the correct thing. And with that in mind, we can actually un begin to understand this a little bit better, where before those edges were created with a boss extrude, now they were created with essentially a knit surface. So even though the edges are in the same place, SOLIDWORKS sees them as different things. But in 2020, they ad added a pretty clever new feature where instead of having to delete these and reselect these, I can actually just right click and then say repair all missing references. And what this does is it looks for the edges that are in the exact same place. And if it can find an edge to replace there, it will do so. So you can see most of my edges have been replaced, but there's two left over that it didn't do anything. And this actually makes sense because if we look, look closer, you see this red dotted line here, that's where the edge used to be. But when I replace them with those lofted surfaces, it takes on this curved appearance and is in a, essentially in a different place. So since they're not in the same place as it used to be, SOLIDWORKS completely doesn't recognize it. So fortunately for this one, I'm just gonna have to pick them manually. But I think this, uh, this is a great step towards you know, making SOLIDWORKS a lot easier, especially for new users who don't really understand what goes on under the hood. But um, yeah, I think this was, this was awesome. 
So yeah, it's going to kick out those missing entities and there you go. And I think that looks a lot better. Well, that's it for my tip today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.